That's Bill. And that's Will. And today on the Bill and Will Show, man, we chopping it up about... One to ten. All time. Ooh, this is going to be good. One to ten. ESPN recently did a poll that re reached the top hundred. Gibson. Um, and they're down to the last ten. I don't want to do their whole list because it's janky. I don't want to do that. I mean, the top 74 NBA players, they did it. Now they're down to the last ten. Let's go over and talk about it, Gibson. You ready? Mm -hmm. Number 10, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, number 9, Kobe Bryant. Keep going down. Number 9, Kobe Bryant. Uh, number 8, Tim Duncan. Number 7, Larry Bird. Which is blasphemy. And you refer to Kobe. Number 6, Will Chamberlain. Golly. Uh, number, uh, number 6. No, uh, 5. Number, number 6, Will Chamberlain. Number 5, Magic Johnson. Which is crazy. Uh, four, Bill Russell. Uh, three, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Number two, LeBron James. Number one, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Let's talk about it. Give some what you, well, how you feel about the list. That's absurd. They, they, they did this based on popularity, not on the numbers. I'm glad you see it right off that, the bat. That's just dumb. Your first this, is, this is absolutely absurd. Your first problem. That's my first problem. They did this... They did this thing based on popularity. Mm -hmm. Your second problem. Okay. Now, Michael Jordan, no doubt, he's the greatest basketball player in basketball history. They, they need to they need to change the logo from Jerry West to Michael Jordan. Agreed. This, I mean, I don't think we're gonna ever find another player like Michael Jordan that has the mindset and has the physical ability to get it done. I, it's gonna be hard to find that. Kobe, LeBron, they, they have been the closest to doing that as, as we've seen, but they can't even get it. But here's the problem with this. You can't base this thing off of popularity because the, the people that's 20 and 30 years old right now, they don't even know who Larry Bird is. And you got him at number seven? LeBron James, he's still playing. How can he be... One of the greatest of all time, and he's still playing. The, the top ten should be people that's not playing no more. I agree with you. If, if you're still playing, it's, it's impossible that you're the greatest of all time. You're still playing. You're still playing. Um, you, you might not eclipse some of the numbers in front of you. It, it just don't make sense, man. How is LeBron James number two greatest player of all time? And he's – that's ridiculous. Go ahead. You talk about it. <laughs> well, first of all, shout out Bill Russell, number four on this list, man, with 12 championships, man. It really shows. It don't even. It don't even. It, don't, it shows us that winning doesn't matter. This list shows us that winning doesn't matter. You win cha 12 championships, average 15 points a game, 23 rebounds, and you're number four on the list after 12 championships. <clears throat> that, that's, that's in itself. Or 11 championships. One or two. 11. 11. <clears throat> um. With blasphemy itself. Um, to have Kobe on this list, number nine. You, you got LeBron James, <laughs> number two, and Kobe, number nine. <laughs> ESPN, man. Y'all just, what, what are y'all doing? <laughs> doing? Oh, how can we believe this? How do you, how do you They played the same this? era. The same era. And Kobe is number nine. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> if y'all think if y'all think that Larry Bird and, and uh, LeBron James is that far away from each other, from seven to two, it's blasphemy. If you think I, I, don't, I don't know, ESPN always has these funky lists, and to me, I never, I always think like you said, they're playing a the popularity contest. And uh, I think LeBron contributed a lot to ESPN. I think he name drops a lot. I think. They love LeBron over there at ESPN, man. I think a lot of people love LeBron, and it shows with this list. I don't know how LeBron can have three championships and done everything he done, and then you got a person like LeBron, uh, like Tim Duncan and Kobe, that's done everything they've done in his past. If you think LeBron James had a better career than um, Tim Duncan, come on, people, let's be real. How many championships Tim Duncan got? Five. And he took out LeBron twice. It's absurd, man. ESPN is a joke. It's a joke, man. I, I don't even know what to go with this stuff. I, I don't. I, I really don't. Um, you got a guy 
and Kobe Bryant, 25 points a game, five rebounds a game, seven, uh, five assists a game, two steals, five championships, one MVP, two MVP finals. I can keep going. Uh, defensive players of the years. I can keep going if you want me to, but it's no point, man. 60 points in this final game. It's just, it's just what it is. I, I'm biased, of course, but y'all have people like y'all have y'all have people like Russell Westbrook in front of Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard was like 64. It, it was just, it's just, I don't know, Gibson. It's just hard. It's hard right now. It's hard right now, man. It's hard. In my opinion, Damian need to get off of that. He need to get off of Toronto. I mean, not, yeah, Toronto and go somewhere. I mean, Portland and go somewhere else. I am too. He, um, he got to get off of that team, man, because he his talents are being hidden. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm at a loss with this. I'm at a loss, honestly, with the list. But it's like ESPN. They're a popularity contest with ESPN, so I understand. Magic Johnson said himself that Kobe Bryant's the best player, the, the best uh, Laker ever. But, of course, Magic is the most popular Laker in the world. Yeah, Magic is just being gracious and humble right there. But I, I, don't, see, I don't see another Laker above Magic. Kobe. I, I don't see that. Everybody loves. I'm, t I'm not talking about the greatest player now. I'm, t I'm talking about the greatest Laker. You think? You think? You think? Uh, the greatest Laker. I think it's Kobe Bryant. He's not the greatest Laker. I think he is. Everybody loves Magic. <clears throat> I, I get what you're saying. I think when, I think everybody loves Kobe was standoffish. He was rude. Everybody loved Magic. Magic just smiled and the whole the whole arena smiled. People loved Kobe because he was he was a good basketball player. People loved Magic because he was a good person. No, he, I don't see Kobe as the greatest Laker. I see Magic as the greatest Laker because everybody loved him. Just because they like him. Loved him. If he didn't hit, maybe he had a little bit more tenacity. He'll win a couple more championships. He lost four of them. Hell, he played with the, some of the best exactly. players on the planet. So he shouldn't have lost. No, no. He wait shouldn't a minute. Have lost. Wait, let me rephrase that. He played against. No, he, no you had some right the of the time. best players no. that ever played. You had it Look right at the, the first people time. On that. You had it right the first time. So he played with the greatest players in the world: Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy, Michael Cooper. He had an amazing team with him. But number he one had to run into number now, one Hold up, man. He had to run into Boston. Boston again had great players. Larry Bird. Great Kevin players. McHale. They had the best players. Robert Parrish. You want me to keep on going or have I made my point? Well, I'm saying he played with. I mean, he didn't play, have to beat a lot of good players. but I Man, he had to play. They played some teams, man. They played a team. A they team. played some teams with some players on them. And it was good. He is the greatest Laker. Just like, just like Kobe, he won five championships in the eighties. Kobe won five championships in the twenties. In, in the two thousand. In the two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand and ten. Kobe got five. And hey, I don't know. We they didn't, they didn't take a poll on that and ask the fans who is the greatest Laker. Comment. Subscribe below.